Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. It's so good of you to come for a Saturday afternoon when you could be downtown sampling food and the little things downtown. But you came to be here today, and we are thankful for that. This is in the middle of the symposia week, if you will, from the 6th to the 9th of November, that Yamakai College is sponsoring. And it is under the leadership and the creation of uh, Dr. Amy Stein, who is right back there. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> My little presentation here will be short. I'll be done with this about 2.30, then we can um, a year, well, last spring, Amy and I sat on a committee to uh, hire a new dean for the Prescott campus, dean of fine arts and humanities. Uh, and we began talking, she asked me, what is the master throughout doing this uh, coming fall? And I said, well, I chose a work that was written between the First and Second World War. And that's absolutely true. That's when this work was written. And she said, interesting, we are doing a symposium on World War I. I said, my oh, gosh, what a nice thing to collaborate. So she said, key word, collaborate. So we did. And we created, the master crowd performed this work last Sunday at the college with full orchestra. Tonight, you're going to hear a different orchestra. And if I could, this score is the orchestral score to this work. It's about 130 pages long, and it contains all the instrumentation and all of the parts of the chorus and the orchestra. Well, today, you're going to hear this score. This is the condensation, if you will, and our orchestra consists of one musician, Dr. Kina Powers. Kina, stand up so they can read your pieces. When I decided to do this work, I wanted to give the master chorale something that was in English, something that was very doable, that was musical, that was presented, and ironically, it dovetailed with what Amy had planned to do. And let me tell you how I know this is the right work for this period of time. This past summer, we were on a concert tour, my wife and myself, and about 40 singers from Prescott and Cottonwood, Verdi Valley, went on a concert tour of France. We went there to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the invasion of D-Day. All of us in this audience are mature. We know what that meant. On the beach of Normandy, there is an enormous cemetery that houses 9,600 plus veterans from the United States. I don't know if any of you served in that war. Did anybody here serve in that war at all? Nobody? Okay. That's really not the important part. The important part is we were on the bus on the way into that cemetery, and I was reading through the text, which you have in your program, and I would ask you please to turn in your programs to, bless you, the reconciliation section, which, this is not the word, but let me look for it, ah, on the, the second side of the page, folks, in the big paragraph at the top, about two-thirds of the way down, um, there is text that is going to be emphasized in what we sing. I was reading through this text and walked into the cemetery, and the guy said, in this cemetery, there are buried X number of veterans. There are many brothers who died on the beaches of France, and they are buried together in that cemetery. And the guy said, and folks, I have trouble getting through this because it was so eerie. He said there is one father-son combination buried in that cemetery. And there is one point in this music where the text of Walt Whitman says, and the son was brought with the father. Two veterans dropped together, and the double grave awaits them. Folks, as it, gospel truth, I was reading that text when we walked into the cemetery, and I said, now I know that what we're doing today is so vitally important, because it brings this message of peace and healing and hope. Sal gave a wonderful lecture this afternoon, right before this, where he talked about PTSD, which had its derivatives back, correct me if I'm wrong, in 370 
BC. Is that correct? That's when they first discovered what we now call PTSD. Folks, this work is the work of Rafe von Williams, a British composer. This work was composed to bridge that gap to heal the hearts and the souls of the soldiers who came back. I've asked one of our alto sopranos, Bailey Smith, if she would sing for you a short minute and a half work, and the text is in your program, and it speaks to the very thing, the losses that war creates. Bailey Smith, that's a soprano, and my wife, Dr. Kate Hauser.
multiple times during the year. After today, our next performance is a week from tomorrow, next Sunday, the 16th. We're going to be performing uh, George Friedrich Handel's Messiah at MAU with the Master Brothers Nightstaff. Then, on the 7th of December, which happens to be Pearl Harbor Day, we're presenting the Messiah at the Cathedral right here in Cottonwood. We would love to have you come and listen to that performance. There are postcards on the back table back there describing the performance, which is under the auspices of the Verde Valley Concert Association. Ladies and gentlemen, the Master Corral of the Alpha High Talk. Our soloists this afternoon, Soprano, Miss Linda Pine, and Philip Dixon, Baritone.